Hello, hello, y'all. So, I um, guess I'm doing a vlog for this week. I got one that I need to fucking edit and do for last week or the week before last week. But, yeah. I'm at um, a cafe and it's so pretty, y'all. Like, look at it. It's so cute. Like, I love it. But, yeah, I'm here. I'm about to have a meeting about a jacket. Like, a business meeting about a jacket? <laughs> Your girl is moving up, but um, <laughs> I'm gonna show y'all what I'm eating. It's good, but I should have looked at the menu better. Cause somebody told me to get this. I probably wouldn't have voluntarily got it on my own, but I mean, it doesn't hurt to try stuff. So, but yeah, I'm here. I'm out of town, fucking with my rounds. My favorite outfit, of course, this is like my attraction to, you know, to attract. Anyways, love y'all. I will be back. Um, I'm so excited. <laughs> the meeting went well. Hello, Israel. Okay. Hello. Okay? I'm fine. Thank you for checking on me. I am. I'm doing me. Thank you, though. <laughs> Have a nice Just update. Israel is. Um, he was in a neighborhood and he has autism. And he used to always come to speak to me. But that specific day, he scared me. Um, we had just met, kind of. So that was like us freshly meeting. But yeah, Israel was a sweetheart. But he he will surprise your ass. Excuse these glasses, y'all. What the fuck? Anyways. I just drove to Kroger by myself for the first time. <laughs> I was gonna shit on myself with a fucking ride. But I did it, y'all. So now I'm gonna give me a plant just to treat myself for my good work and my my efforts and me making it here alive and whole and well. We gonna see what we get first. I don't know. I've been wanting to get a plant for a minute. I don't know which one to get. I might fuck around and I get one at all, but I, don't know, I just want to treat myself. But I don't want to just spend money on a necessary thing. We'll see. Yeah, I part this fuck too. Don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. Just lay in it. <laughs> Spend a day in it. <laughs> my haters don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play. <laughs> okay, I got my flowers because I deserve it. Congratulations to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't be seeing that with us. We are, what we at? At Piedmont again. We at Piedmont again, y'all. I'm fucking with it. <gasps> oh, hey, friend. I'm trying to get you, like, in good lighting. You look good. <laughs> hey, hey. Ah, oh, damn, mm -hmm. they stop. Hello, hello, it's me. I didn't get it. Getting to the bun and the shit, you know what I'm saying? Real, real Fatima vibes, you know? But, um, I am headed to, headed to the beauty supply store. Then I'm gonna go to Dollar Tree. But, um, I'm getting like a little gift goodie bag for my clients just because they've been down with me since day one you know what i'm saying since i started at the salon let me show my token of appreciation to them by doing this and then 
Oh, yesterday me and Charisma went to the park, Piedmont, and there was people playing drums and we followed them and, and like, it was a good vibe. So there's that. I saw a little bird again. Those are my spirit animals, birds. And yeah, it was fun. We kicked it and shit. I also learned some stuff like, be to be feminine is to be at ease. And I noticed like I've, been competing with men for a while and I didn't realize it and it's like I don't have to improve to prove my intelligence to anybody or to you know prove my intelligence to myself to say it out loud and convince people that I'm intelligent or convince people that I'm smart you know so and I feel like that's what I've been doing especially in relationships with men so eh, it's, it's pointless and it actually runs people away you know how intelligent you are you don't have to prove it to anybody and those that need that want your advice or that need it you will know and they will ask for it or they will reach out to you for some but yeah that's what i'm learning to just mind my business thank you and do me fuck it anyways i be. hey y'all so i'm sorry this video is all over the place but um I'm on the way to the Black Girl Art Show. I just be spontaneously doing things. So, yeah. I'm on the way to the Black Girl Art Show. And I'm looking real cute. One of my studs fell off of my stomach. It's now coming back. But I'll be back. <laughs> Only not the pain, but you know how much that shit costs. Fuck it, no, how you only talking about the mind. When the cannabis combined with the brain, it be like everything you see to see the shine. Smoking ain't gonna stay. Everything's just on the countryside. Sitting on the grassland side by side. You could be my baby. Let me make you my baby. Girl, you amaze me. Ain't gotta do nothing crazy. See, all I want you to do is be my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away. And another woman that can take your spot, my love. So
Okay, start walking towards me. Good. Awesome. Turn. So I'm at the show. Um, about to go across the street and get some food. I did networking and got some Instagrams and stuff like that. So um, tomorrow I'm going to be working on my music finally. That was inspiring to see that girl sing because I'm finally working on my music. And I'll be singing and stuff, making a song. Well, I already made the song. It's just it needs to be mashed together and make sense. So that's what we're doing. But yeah, I bought some earrings, by the way. I'm going to show y'all that later. But yeah, everything ain't going to go your way. And when shit don't go your way, it's going God's way. It's going the most high's way. You need to just accept it. That's what I'm realizing. So yeah. Rejection is a blessing. And I got me, oh yeah, let me show you what I got. I got me a, a cute little dangly. I got me a cute little dangly dangly to go on my keychain because why not? I told y'all we manifest in a car. So anything dealing with a car, we're getting at period point blank. I don't care. So here's the restaurant. So we're going to. Is it just me or do I love, like, do you love watching the train go by? Like, I love watching the train go by. It is so romantic to me. I don't fucking know. I think it's the art that's on it that gets me every time. Okay, y'all, we finna go see Little Mermaid. I decided to come by myself. Stop as Little Mermaid. We just have a Ariel. All right. Okay, so I'm finally working on this jacket. The craziest thing is, y'all gonna see me drawing out the process, but I forgot to record the finished product before I even gave it to Am. But this is the piece that we did in the restaurant at the meeting. And then I'm going to redraw my own. And yeah. Production 
music production thing. Um, they locked out the motherfucking gate again. So I gotta walk up there. I'm sick of this. Anyways, I'm sprinting. Your girl feet ain't that fucking, you know, but we making it, we, we gonna make it. It is what it is. They go straight to the Mada, then I'm up in the chopper, hitting the cha cha. Open his Lata, and he dancing my. Okay, y'all, I'm getting ready to take my test. Well, my test ain't at 2 or 3 because we had to reschedule. But yesterday went well. They go straight to the Mada, then I'm up in the chopper, hitting the cha cha. Then I'm hitting his Lata, and I realized insecurities come from not knowing who you are, not knowing what sets you apart from other people, not knowing what makes you special, you know? And everybody is special to me. I know people be like, you're not special, nobody's special. Everybody has something about them that is special. And once you find out and prove to yourself that you are special in whatever way that is, then you will have any worries about anybody taking your position, anybody, you know, outdoing you because you know who you are and you know what you bring to life and to people and to different experiences and you won't let anybody else take that from you and who you are from you because you are aware of it you know so sit down and think to yourself what makes me special what makes me stand out from everybody else and it don't have to be some extraordinary thing it could just simply be because i am me you know I am my own individual person. I have my own gifts and abilities. I have my own hobbies. I have my own things that I like doing. I have different connections with people that make them feel different ways. You know, just different stuff. And, you know, setting yourself apart. A lot of times we identify ourselves with other people and we create this um, attachment that is not even real, you know? nobody's like you and, and nobody belongs to you and you belong to nobody and once you realize that you'll realize all your insecurities are coming from within it's nothing to do what how somebody's treating you or how somebody's making you feel it's really about how you feel on the inside because no one can make you feel anything they can um contribute to something or you know provoke an insecurity to trigger and show itself but no one is like doing it to you you know once we realize that our life will be much more peaceful and we won't make it someone else's responsibility to make us happy or make us whole you know because i've not been doing that you know for a long time making it someone else's responsibility to make me happy and whole and I will never, ever be happy and whole if I continue to make it someone else's job to do that for me. It's my responsibility. Not my man. Not my man. <laughs> not my parents. No one else's responsibility but mine. So that's what I've come to terms with. And once you do that, and you know who you are you won't feel like you're being used or you won't feel like you know you're being taken advantage of because you know what you're getting out of a situation and you also know what you bring to a situation and if that person or those people or that thing makes you feel unappreciated or you feel unappreciated and you don't feel valued in it you can leave because you know what you bring and you know what you deserve and that's just that simple <clears throat> so if it resonated, it resonated. If the girls that get it, get it. And the girls that don't, don't. And I've accepted that about myself. That I was. Yeah, we doing a simple makeup look because I got a driver's test. And we don't want to look busted on the pictures like we did on our permit test. And every other test I've taken and had to take pictures looking fucking crazy because I didn't understand that I need to look nice. So, yeah, we doing it right now. Got my Milani highlighter. I like to put this on my nose sometimes because it's not too shimmery. But, yeah, we about to get out of here. I just got to finish getting ready. He better rush me, so. Give me a sec. I'll be back. I got my license. 
I passed. It took a lot. They gave us a hard time. They lost the driver's license of the person's car that I drove today. They lost his license, y'all, at the place. So he had to get his license too, but I got my license. Congratulations to me, we finna celebrate.